along, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, and this is the legendary Shaquille O'Neal. And tonight, our broadcast will be shifting to Minneapolis, where we'll see the Timberwolves going up against the Detroit Pistons. Well, for Detroit, they haven't forgotten the fact that this team swept them last year in the regular season. This is a game they had circled going in. Hey, Shaq, let's talk about this uh, 6'11 big man Greg Monroe out of Georgetown. He's got some offensive skills, doesn't he? Yes, for a big man, I like him. He has great handle. You know, he's really not going to overpower defenders or elevate above them, so him being a crafty player like he is, it's going to serve him very well, Ernie. You know what they call him, don't you? What? Moose. Mmm. No, that, that sounds more like a cow <laughs> or a bull. He's a moose. Oh. What sound do they make? Mmm. Hmm. Didn't know that. Here's Kevin Harlan. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hollywood Sports, the most authentic sports channel on YouTube. Hey, guys, I wanted to show you guys an online rank match. But the servers are down. Um, as we all know, they have problems with the servers. But uh, so I'm going to my team, I mean, my league. And uh, here we go. Kevin Garnett here in Minnesota. We'll also be hearing from our friend Dorsberg from the sideline. All right, guys, y'all ready to put some NBA basketball? Let's go. Well, they probably should have abandoned the three-point shot in that game because their percentage. Come on, Peck, get that, get that, get it, baby. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I thought that. Wait, 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 wait. Why is the camera not saved here? Y'all know I play broadcast. We're going to go Baluba camera. There we go. All right. All right. Things to do. I mean, you can't stick with something if it's not working for you. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And Detroit, looking at who they've got. Josh Smith and Greg Monroe at the three and four. Come on, Peck, put your hands in his face and, and something. And it's Drummond in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Greg Monroe, 6'11", 250, the ability to play the four or the five spot. This combination of size and skill makes him very coveted around the league. Now oh, here's Wiggins. Here's Young. It's oh, way to, get, way to get in there, baby. And Detroit has possession. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. We got to do this again. I don't know why I didn't save. All right. Could have sworn it saved. We're going to turn the shot meter on because we have to get better here. Uh, let's see. We got the volume set. Name and number. Uh, coach settings. Full. User plays only, auto, defense, play vision, user plays only, point of emphasis. All right, here we go. From a win against the Nuggets. Let's go. Like they hit every big shot they had in that game. Oh. Yeah, their, their offense was clicking, but oh, really man. Come on, Peck. Don't hurt him, man. Don't hurt him. ideally the way you want it to unfold. Don't hurt him, Peck. Don't even give the fans a chance. 
to get into the game. Well, my wolf's out in the left hand down with much better scoring from that side of the floor. Yeah, and while being a lefty does throw defenders off, I think developing his right hand is something that will help him even get better as he moves forward. Detroit Pistons. And so Monroe nails both of them. Well, Greg Monroe, good size and skill at the power forward position. Loves to operate from the high post where he can make plays for others. Oh, man, I should have passed it to you, Pat. Now, here's Rubio. Good boy, good boy. Oh, yeah. One more thing, guys. One more thing, man. I know y'all getting tired of me doing this, but we got to change this here. Uh, Gameplay settings. We got to put their uh, name. Oh, here we go. First basket of the night. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Jennings. Where they playing, Rubio? Where they playing, Rubio? Jennings kicks to Drummond, and there's the three second violation. Uh huh. Camping in the paint, baby. Camping in the paint. Can't camp in the paint now. Not really an elite athlete, but. Well, I tell you, with this size and ball handling ability, he's Come on, Rubio, capable. let's run this off here. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. A bit ago, Stan Van Gundy and I were able to chat. He knows they've got to really dig in defensively, facing a very tough Oh, nice offense. block. He said, if you let them get going, they can run off a big lead and really put you behind the eight ball. We've got to be disciplined, work together, and be prepared to make second, third, and fourth efforts. Whatever it takes to get a stop, that's what we'll have to do. Kevin, we'll see if they can get a win in this, their first match. Well, guys, come around, set it up. Appreciate the report. The coach is playing here tonight. A good one, guys. In theory, yes. I mean, they're up against a team that can put up a point. Shot, in Martin. Hurry, so defense has to be a priority. We'll see if they can execute Marty, that. Marty, Marty. Well, you said it, Steve. I mean, this is an opponent that will test your resolve. You've got to stay the course, and you can't vacillate much. You're going to have to absorb some body blows if you want to come out on top. Here's Meeks, following the score by Kevin Martin. Meeks can't Oh, good rebound, Pekovic. Wow, man, ready to get up. To complete his face of Marshall. Well, he's made strides. I mean, it's a little concerning to see his free throw percentage falling over the last two seasons, but you know, that jump shot is key to keeping his driving lanes open. Now, here is Martin. Just five to shoot. Young, right side. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For Detroit, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Jennings passes to Meeks. Here's Truman. Tries again. And Monroe puts it in. Monroe's got six. He got a great read of where that miss was going. And that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. And so the first quarter wraps up without too much action on the scoreboard. Pistons lead by two. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. All right, we're going to watch commercials this time. We need to know what's going on around the league. Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs take on Goran Dragic and the Phoenix Suns this Friday, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Oh, Spurs are on one. That can that can always help us being in the West, baby. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on two K Sports. As we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade. As there is more basketball. All right, girls, listen up. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves? Things have really gone smoothly for them here in the first quarter. They're playing awfully well. Very few mistakes, and they have to be happy with their start. I mean, it's a good one. On the court for the Pistons, the big men, Smith and Drummond. D.J. Augustine out there with Contavious Goldwell Pope, and it's Butler in at the three. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. J.J. Barea, quick scoring guard, great attacking pick and rolls and for his size I'll tell you what he has an impressive ability to finish around the rim now here's Butler good D good D and here's Augustine and oh good. nice boy Spence nice boy missing his first attempt there give it up Dan give it up Augustine against Williams they set the pick 
Jumper off the screen. Oh, nice board. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second. Good job, Dang, 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 dang. Jang's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for Minnesota. Come on, guys, D up. And Augustine kicks to Drummond. Augustine setting the pick for Drummond. Here's Caldwell Pope off with the layup. And for Berea, at just six feet, a scrappy defender, Clark. He plays in close and is a master of drawing charges. Yeah, you, you know, the league actually cracked down on him a little bit. One of the players seen him for flopping. Oh, man, we couldn't get it. That's defensive weapon. Here are the Pistons with the ball. Augustine with it. Williams picks him up. Stop hiding, stop hiding. Get over here, Augustine. Oh, good D. Down low. Here's Pope. Oh, and that one. No question. Powered it down. Let it run it, baby. Let it run that offense. Let it run it. Anthony Bennett had one of the most dismal rookie seasons ever. He was a number one overall pick. He really didn't come into camp in great shape. He had shoulder surgery, also had an asthma issue. So he's got to get himself in better condition as he furthers his career. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Young's checked in for Bennett. Wiggins comes in for J.J. Barea. And Levine subbed in for Williams. Detroit also making some changes. Monroe's checked in for Drummond. Sinkler comes in for Josh Smith. And it's Bynum in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. You know, Anthony Bennett apparently suffers from asthma and sleep apnea. Might have contributed. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that probably had to contribute to his struggles adjusting to the speed and the demands of the NBA game. Even at UNLV, one criticism was that his motor didn't always run at full throttle, and you can't be ramped up if you have. There we go, up. Wiggins. Good job creating an easy bucket there. The Pistons have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Monroe sets a screen for Bynum. Over to the wing. Augustine dishes to Monroe. Now here is Augustine. Back to Monroe and by Jang. Yeah, they play some defense tonight. Here's Brewer. Pass to Levine. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Minnesota on top. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back right after this. Man, we got to get used to this game, man. We're only shooting 46%. We got two skills, though. Playing some defense. Greg Monroe, six points. Nikola Pekovic got two rebounds. And Corey Brewer has the assist. All right. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Greg Monroe with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, he had a sensational first half, which was made, I think, even more significant given the amount Guys, those of the Minnesota Timberwolves chilies. Yeah, but for him, it's nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, we don't expect anything less. And I'll bet he continues to do the same kind of damage through the final two quarters. And Minnesota has possession. A two-point game. You know, the Wolves really came up short from where they wanted to be, and we've got to attribute it to the fact that they weren't as good at home as they needed to be. Rubio and Martin manning the back. Young is out there with Wiggins, and it's Pekovic in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. And Detroit has possession. Following the miss by Kevin Martin. And for the Wolves, they weren't bad at home by any means. They still ended up with 24 wins. Yeah, but they were hoping to be up in the 30s, like most of the playoff teams were. You know, really, it came down to them Man, we're not, not hitting playing those shots. the high-level defense they needed in order to get wins at home. So it's the Pistons now, following the miss by Kevin Martin. Here's oh, nice Meeks, pass. And he uses the glass on the way. 
Meeks got right, he threaded that ball through there. Detroit. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough. Mark. I mean, they're getting after it. They're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Rubio, the best to Bethany. Call the foul, ref. Dotted by Craig Monroe. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Um, in the third quarter. And there's the pass to Smith. It's back to Jennings. Six on the shot clock. Here's Drummond. No problem on the jumper in close. They got it's a great play under the boards for him. You know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points. I mean, they're there for him. Game in, game out. Here's Rubio. Still getting warm. Offensively, no buckets yet in the game for him. Andre Drummond still just age. The first one and done player in UConn's storied basketball history. And the Piston staff say he's a sponge, whether it's breaking down video with assistance or honing his skills. Now here's Jennings. That is John missing his last shot. Smith on the wing, covered by Mar it's Jennings with the drive. The feed to Meeks. Releases. He shoots again. Come on, guys, watch out! Nice layup by Drummond. Drummond's got six. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of the exact shot, Ruby. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Jennings kicks to Smith. Oh, pick and roll. No. no good there we go. Give it, it up, Peck. It's very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense. Oh, defense. yeah. And that one's good. Nice run. Nice run. Uh, just a two point. Detroit lead. But he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Outside Jennings. He kicks it to Meeks. He dishes it to Monroe. <laughs> And a foul on the shot. What? He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Thaddeus Hill. One of this circus shot. Detroit shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, you look at last season's numbers, guys. Down below 70% as a team from the line. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. So Greg Monroe nails both of them. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Outside, Mark. And Good shot, Mark. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. I'm glad they're going to the replay on that one. I mean, make sure it's the right call, even if it's a play that might not end up being a big factor. I agree, Clark. I mean, it was a very limited system when it was introduced, but the league continued to tweak it. And they've been doing whatever they can to, to help the what? referees. And just like Come on, man! So they can see when the buzzer sounds, not just hear it. The third quarter comes to a close. Pistons lead by four. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Bring your costume. It's Halloween in the NBA. LeBron James and the Number Cleveland Cavaliers take on Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. Uh-oh, going up against the Bulls. Seven o'clock Central. Hey, Derrick Rose. Wow, the Cavaliers are already on one. The Bulls are one and oh. Yo, highly ranked Cleveland is all one. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully. That really was a gets nice play right there. Into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but but putting the pass in the right place for a shooter is, as you well know, huge. Yeah, no question. Pistons, we got down by four. Let's go. On the court for the Pistons. Find him out there with Dean August. Then it's Kyle Singer. And it's Over Carano, screen, bro. And it's Monroe in at the five. Back to Bynum. Shot from 12. 
Monroe! Nice again. Monroe's shot is good. Monroe's that big Monroe gets that boy like that. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. Well, you get more rebounds, you get more possessions, more shots at the hoop, and oftentimes that decides the game. And it kicks to Brewer. A shot. Oh, good board. Here's Dang. And it goes. And a foul. The official calls the foul. Oh, Dang playing, man. Dang is playing right now. And at this stage of the game, that offensive rebound and putback is enormous. I mean, that feels like a four-point swing. Some changes for Minnesota. Nikola Bekovic comes in for Bennett. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Mo Williams. Andre Drummond go, in for Detroit. Jody Meeks comes in for Will Bynum. The Pistons shooting 53% from the floor. Pick man up, pick a man up. Rubio against Augustine. Kicks to Drummond. Monroe sets a screen for Drummond. Rebound the board, the pick. Nico Lab, take a bitch. There's a good screen. That tried by Rubio. Uh. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Pistons leading by three. Singler dishes to Augustine. Monroe with a screen on Rubio. Here's Augustine. Oh, man. Rubio, what happened? That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Pekovic with the screen for Rubio. Looking for Pekovic. He gets nice play. Day. Nice play. Give and go. Give and go. Little man and big man. Augustine passes to Monroe. Now the to Meeks. Come on, guys. We got D up. D up. On the wing, single. Feeds it to Drummond. Oh! And it goes. Oh, oh man! They are not rotating nearly quickly enough for defense down low. We gotta get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Fatty is young. He's checked in for the Timberwolves. Wiggins comes in for Brewer. Then for the Pistons, Smith comes in for Kyle Singer. Oh, pick a bitch! And for Augustine. Drummond up top, defended by Young. And Meeks kicks to Monroe. Outside Jennings. Shot clock at six. Oh, boy. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. I'm sure he would have liked to have had all of those, but he still patted the root a little bit at least. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Well, we needed that three by Rubio. We need that three. That's the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Miss, miss. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Rubio. Rubio missing again. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force it. Come back. on. That was like a good steal to me. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by nine. And so Meeks nails both of them. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. The Timberwolves have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Another miss by Minnesota. He feeds it to Bynum. And 
All right, guys. We didn't quite get over the hump. We lost by 10. The Pistons came in our house and took this win. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Hollywood Sports. Andre Drummond.